Hey, Imagine today, I've got an awesome video for you. We're gonna be comparing the win to the Craig, to the Festool track saws and see which one's the best bang for the buck, which one I think is right for you and your use case, and how they each perform actually cutting walnut, plywood, stuff like that. Now, also I'm gonna break down what each one of them come with and what kind of features each have versus the other so you can make a better buying decision when you're looking for a track saw. I had a lot of requests to do this comparison. I also had a lot of requests to put in the Makita, but Makita wasn't in my budget at this point. You'll wanna stick around to the end because I'm gonna give you details on how you can actually win this Craig track saw with two tracks and some other accessories. And then also the win track saw, how you can win that with two tracks. I'm gonna hang on to the fist tool. Let's go. What do you get with each saw? Each one comes with its own set of features and its own warranty and things like that. So I wanna break that down first. The win, what you're gonna get versus the other two, the wind can cut zero to 45 degrees. It actually has 47 on the gauge, but it says zero to 45 on their specs. It can cut at an inch and five eighths inches deep at 45. It can cut a 2.3 inches deep at 90. Now the Craig actually cuts an inch and a half at 45 and it'll cut two and one eighth inches at 90 degrees. The Festool inch and 11 sixteenths at 45 and two and an eighth at 90. Now the Craig and the Festool both will cut from negative one to 47 degrees to help you fit things in stuff that's not quite 90. The wind has a 10 amp brushed motor, the old school brushes, uh, these little doohickeys that you can put in there when the other ones wear out. The Festool and the Craig both have brushless motors, so you don't have to worry about changing those out. The Craig's motor is a 12 amp, and this is a variable speed saw where the wind is not. The wind is one speed and that's it. The Craig and the Festool both have variable speed. Price with tracks, the wind was 179. I went and looked it up, $179.03 actually, uh, tax and all shipped to me. The Craig, which was given to me by Craig, which I'm gonna now give to one of you, is $419 with track. So with the Festool, this is a TSC 55KEB Plus, which means you get the batteries, a charger, and a track with it. That's $800 all included. Now with the Win, you get the track saw and the track, and the, the cardboard boxes that come in. With the Craig, you actually get the carry bag, which is really nice. It's a really nice canvas bag. It'll hold up very, very well. And then with the Festool, of course, you get a sustainer box to keep it in. As far as warranties go, the Win has a two-year warranty. The Craig has a two-year warranty, and then the Festool has a three-year all-inclusive warranty, even including wear and tear. So that actually adds a little value if you're gonna need that to be replaced, and they don't really care basically how it tore up so long as you didn't like run over it with a truck. If you're just using it normally, and it tears up in three years old, they'll replace it. And with Festool, a cool side note is they actually have a 10-year guarantee on all spare parts. So like the splinter guard, or maybe your depth stop, or any of that stuff that you need in the next 10 years that may or may not get broke, they have a guarantee that they're gonna have that for 10 years on your tool, so you ain't gotta worry about running out of uh, parts for it. If they don't have the part, they actually give you the upgraded model of the tools, that's cool. Now, they all three have an anti-kickback feature of some kind. If you go watch the review, I really break down each one of these. There's an individual review for each one. I'll put a link to each review in the description so you can go check those out but this is basically a cam that locks that in to the anti-kickback. The Festool, I mean the Craig, excuse me, is very much similar, but a little different. It has a cam lock that prevents it from sliding back uh, for the most part. The Festool actually has this little piece that looks like a riving knife, but it's actually not in line with the blade. And then if that is activated, the blade has an electronic brake that actually stops within two seconds. Speaking of riving knives, that's one of the things I really enjoyed about the Craig track saw was it actually has a riving knife much like what is on your table saw. It's gonna keep your boards from pinching as it actually makes the cut. I really like that feature a lot. Build quality on each tool. So you got basically 200, 400, $800 if we're kind of generalizing things. So that's kind of the, the price range you got here. Actually the win for $200 is a pretty good build quality. The only issue I had with it was when you bevel or go to 45 or anything off of zero, has a lot of blade deflection or flex in the pivot mechanism and it's gonna cause some major issues, I think. But at 90, it's fine. This housing is actually some type of aluminum. This housing is also aluminum. And then this housing also 
probably some type of aluminum. Don't quote me on those. They, they're metal, they're not plastic. So these housings are nice. There's nothing that really stands out about the grips on them. Uh, these have slightly bigger grips as far as on top, whereas the Festool is slightly smaller. The Craig and the Festool both have splinter guards that will adjust up and down. This one's toolless, so it, you can just unloosen this and move this up and down as needed and then tighten it back. The Craig does have the tools stored in the handle just like that. And that's for blade changes and adjusting things like the splinter guard. The Festool also has tool storage in the handle. And then the Win has the tool storage, basically just a rubber piece that you can slide your Allen wrench into on the cord. I don't like that because it continues to hang on things. Each saw is able to lock the heat blade down at the lower position so that you can change the blade. Blade change is really easy and each one comes with its own blade and actually each blade is pretty good. Now, the lesser of the blades is gonna be the win. It costs a lot less, but the Craig and the Festool both come with really, really good blades. They all have depth stops. The Festool is the easiest to move up and down. You just press in and it slides and it locks back in place. The win is the hardest to move. It kind of jams up on you like it is there. Once you get it uh, moving, it'll go and then you tighten it down. The Craig moves up and down easily and it's just got a thumb screw that tightens it in place. I really like the fact that the Craig has markings for the three quarter inch plywood marking. So you know exactly where you're gonna be cutting three quarter inch plywood and it has a max depth uh, on the bottom. I like that. I like how they got that marked out. The bevel gauges on the Craig and the Festool are far superior to that of the Win. The Win is uh, black on black, so it's hard to see. And then the Festool and the Craig are both white on a dark background, so you can see them easily. The Craig and the Festool also come with an ability to go past 45, and it's actually uh, part of their specs. So you can go to 47 or negative one, like we talked about. Both of those have little switches that you can pull to make them go past what they normally would at the positive stop of 45 or zero. All three saws can be tensioned onto the track so that you don't get any side to side slop. Uh, as far as movement goes on the track, the Craig and the Festool move the easiest on the track, whereas the Win is a little, has a little more friction to it and it's a little more finicky as I talked about in the review where it has that fence lock or the track lock where it locks onto the track. It's kind of, eh, it's annoying. Let's take a look at the tracks and see what difference is there. So the tracks are very similar. If you look at them stacked on top of each other, they all have this channel on top. They all have the track that the saw runs on. They all have these colored skids or plastic or some type of material that will allow the saw to glide a little easier. You will notice the difference in lengths. The win is actually 50 inch track, but you get two. So you actually get a hundred feet or a hundred inches in one uh, that you can connect up. So. That's pretty cool. Uh, then the Festool is 55 inches. And then the Craig is the longest of all at 62 inches, which is actually a quite a big positive because you can actually make a full depth plunge and rip all the way across a sheet of plywood. Or if you had multiple sheets stacked up and you were making one big pass there, that would be beneficial. Where you can still do that with the Festool, you're still it's starting to squeeze you in. And then with the wind, it's really cramping your style at 50 inches because it's really hard to make a 48 inch cut and have enough room left over on each end for the saw. What I find very interesting is the Festool will fit on a wind track perfectly. It actually, it's made just like the wind as far as where the guide track is, whereas the Craig track fits neither one, the Festool or the wind because the way the guide track is inset a little further to the right. One last thing to note on the tracks is on the Festool and the Craig, both of these grip pads on the bottom are pretty sticky. They grip really well on the stock you're cutting. The wind is much slicker and it doesn't stick to what you're cutting with. I would highly recommend using clamps with this one. The splinter guard is pretty sticky as well to help that grip on the wind is still slick. And then on the Festool is actually slick too, but these are so grippy, it doesn't really matter that much. You may notice that the Craig saw is different hand than the Festool or the Win. actually. The Craig is, they say, is marketed more toward right-handed or be more right-handed friendly, where I don't know if anybody markets left-handed friendly, but both of these would be more left-handed friendly saws, the Win and the Festool. I've used all three and haven't really had any issues on which direction the saw is going. 
Kind of got the basic comparison on all three. Now I want to cut with all three and let you see how, how they perform on plywood as well as on hardwood so you can kind of make a better buying decision on which one's right for you. Now remember, if you want a full breakdown on each of these saws, there are full detail reviews on each one linked in the description. All right, so I'm gonna try to get a full cut on this plywood, just three quarter inch plywood. Let's see what we can do. So I had to back it way up off the track to be able to cut that very end off. And it's only about an inch on each end to be able to go all the way across. So this track's pretty short. Uh, you could get 48 inch cut, but it's really difficult and an almost unsafe feeling when you get it all the way off of that track, especially if you were cutting something thicker. And you could maybe could hear it bog down a little bit in the three quarter inch plywood. The saw is a tad underpowered. Now, this is what I was talking about on the, the way these saws are made. This one's gonna have to cut this way to get this cut, whereas the Festool and the Wind go the other way. Not a big deal, but they are opposite each other. Now you may have noticed on the wind cut where it's got some splintering along this edge, we're on this cross cut of this plywood and where I had to back it up over there, you see that little end that was not perfectly square. And that's one of the issues you're gonna run into with a shorter track. Now it does have two tracks, but that means you're gonna have to have a hundred inches of track just to make 48 inch cut, which is a little excessive. Now the splinter guard, I think will probably help the splintering across here. We'll see. On the Craig offcut piece, we did get quite a bit of splintering on there, which is kind of surprising to me. That's the first I've seen that, but I'm going across the grain on the plywood. On the track side though, very, very little. And it actually cut really well. They don't have a whole lot of bogging down. There was a tiny, tiny bit of, I don't want to call it straining. I think it was just once I got to digging into the wood there, you could feel it kind of give a little bit less power than you had in the initial start. What I do like about the Craig is it has a softer start and it, ha it uh, stops really quickly after you let go of the trigger. Now we'll give the Festool a go. Forgot to drop the splinter guard on this one. Go ahead and do that now. That produced the cleanest cut of all three. As you can see on the left side, there's where the Festool cut. There is a tiny bit of tear out, but not much. On the track side, there's no tear out. I mean, it's just a really good, really good cut. There's also plenty of track on each side so you can plunge, make the cut. You get the good 48 inch wide cut easily. And even though this one's battery powered and the other two are corded, this one powered through this three quarter inch plywood without ever bogging. I also like how quick it is to stop. This is one of those two second uh, brake, electric brake it has on it. It's really good. Just a good saw. So I used all three of these to cut through this walnut. It's actually two and a quarter inches thick. So it's a really beefy piece of walnut. The wind did pretty good. I, I was actually kind of surprised at how well it did. It does bog a little bit. I mean, it's a little bit underpowered, as I've said before. The dust collection is not the greatest on the wind. The Craig handled like a boss. It, it, it does lag a little bit. You can feel the motor draining, but it doesn't ever stop or feel like it's not going to cut it. You can just feel it kind of pull uh, on the motor, but it handled it well. I mean, I wouldn't have any problem cutting that if I needed to. And it was the only saw of the three that cut all the way through the two and a quarter at full plunge depth. The others just didn't have enough. The Festool, it went through it like butter, like not even, it started bogging a little bit when you see all this dust coming out. I thought, what is going on with this thing? And I thought that I had forgot to turn the hose on or the vac on, but I didn't. When I pulled it out, it was stopped up. Once I unstopped it and got that cleared out, it actually cut through it really well. In the middle, once it was full depth at several inches into the cut, it started pulling it a little bit, but not as much as a Craig. That's actually surprising because this is on battery power. But it still cut it well, but it did not go all the way through two and a quarter because it just can't cut that deep on the track. These three saws cover a wide budget range from 200, 400 to 800. You basically double every time you go up in a saw here. What do I recommend for most people? If you cut once in say every two or three months, you need one cut to break down sheet goods or maybe a couple of three cuts there to break down a piece of plywood to get it in your shop then the wind will probably serve you just fine because it's a 90 degree cut. You're only gonna use it here and there. It's a perfectly acceptable tool for that. Now, if you're gonna use it, say once a week, maybe even twice a week, and you're breaking down sheet goods like that, 
I say for most people, the Craig's gonna be the pick of the litter here. And that's probably surprising seeing how I have this. However, recommending it for you to buy as the weekend woodworker or the DIY woodworker, the Craig is an excellent, excellent tool. It really is. I don't have any problems recommending that. Now, if you're using a saw every day on a job site or in your workshop and you need accuracy and power and you want that warranty that's three years wear and tear, then obviously go with the Festool. But you know that you're gonna be paying for those extra niceties that you're getting. But most people I think will be happy with the Craig. Now to win one of these track saws, either the Craig or the Win with tracks, all you have to do is look in the description. There's a link to gleam.io. It's gonna have multiple options for you to enter to win. We're gonna draw the winners on April 5th on our live stream. However, you don't have to be present to win. Just look in there. The official rules are all listed in the description as well. You must be a US resident. I'm sorry, international viewers. It's really not up to us. There's a lot of rules outside the US we can't control. Also, uh, you have to be 18 or over. So. Be sure to go enter. Also, there's gonna be some other prizes available as well. So you're not just gonna be stuck to two prizes. There's gonna be some pocket old jigs, a paint sprayer, and some other things to have to give away. Go do it. If you like this video, be sure and check out the Craig Track Saw Review and the Wind Track Saw Review. Any one of those videos you click, you get a big old virtual fist pump. Also, another one of my favorite videos, I'll put right there. Right in my left pocket. Go check it out.